Welcome to the Student Pilot Podcast. My name is Simon Callis, a flight school owner. Each week, myself and my guests will be talking all things flight training and beyond to help inspire, motivate and support you on your journey to becoming a private or commercial pilot. So welcome to the podcast, everybody. Today we have Jackson Smith, the founder of Fancy Wings on the show. Welcome, Jackson. How are you? Thank you for having me. Yeah, no problem. Pleasure. very well, thank you. How are you? I'm awesome, mate. Yeah, really good. So we've been working with you since, what, 2020, was it? Yes, It was just after lockdown, wasn't it? And we've been really privileged to to work with some of your guys taking their first steps to becoming a pilot. And in fact, we've got 12 lucky people here today um, going on some flights, which is really exciting. Everyone's loving it. So Jackson, for those who are unaware of Fantasy Wings. Can you tell us what you do? Fantasy Wings um, is an organization which is designed to increase the representation within the aviation industry. Um, Currently, the stats for ethnic minorities in the Mm -hmm. aviation industry and women in the aviation industry is relatively low. So what we do is we educate um, young people between the ages of 13 and 25, Mm -hmm. and even higher now, all about the world of aviation and what to expect from the world of aviation, whether that's when it comes to becoming an airline pilot, an engineer, a traffic controller, um, anything within the aviation industry, yeah. um, we teach them what it entails, what it involves. And at the end of our program, we give away a number of trial flights and private pilot's licenses. And so far, we have given away over 300 flying experiences, um, including private pilot's licenses and trial flights in the last three years. Wow. And it's, it's like you say about the statistics. I think women in aviation on its own is, is less than 6%. Yes, it's, really it's low. Really bad. And ethnic minorities is even lower at, yeah. at about 3%. 4%, is it really? 4%, yes, it's really low. Wow. So no, we, when we spoke initially in lockdown, I was really impressed with what you were doing and we were really eager to work with you. And um, like I say, we've had some really good people coming through. Um, can you tell us a bit about how you started out and you know where you are now and the sort of journey you've been through? Yes. Um, so I got my private pilot's license um, in 2015 um, and I've been doing a lot of flying since. And there just isn't a lot of representation. Um, yeah. And also when you go through the airport environment, you don't see a lot of representation. Yeah. Um, and I was mentoring a young man who had said that he would always have wanted to become a pilot, but he's never seen anyone that looks like himself um, yeah. in the industry as a pilot. Yeah. Um, so he doesn't think he could do it. So that's where my motivation came from. The yeah. fact that I didn't see a lot of representation and the fact that I know that a lot of young people don't see that representation um, to show them how they can get themselves in the industry and also to make a positive change so that we start to see um, equal representation and we start to have more young people believe it because they can see it. Um, So we started in 20... 2019 Mm -hmm. and we started in 2019 and we've been developing our program and each year it's been getting bigger I mean over 10,000 young people have signed up um, and registered their interest to be on our program and we have formed partnerships in the last three years with the major airlines in the UK such as Virgin Atlantic, British Airways um, and EasyJet so the three big airlines um, and also other um, notable aviation organizations such as Mm -hmm. Nats and the CAA Um, and these have really benefited our young people because our young people have then gone on to get jobs apprenticeships and they've also gone on to do work experience with our partners so it's 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 come a long way over the last few years and we've still got far to go yeah I, I didn't realize actually that it was that number was so low yeah, I, I I actually thought it would be higher than women in aviation, to be honest. But no, it's not. It's, it's crazy. It's nowhere near. Um, and also, I didn't realise, oddly enough, that you did more than just pilots. You know, with air traffic control and stuff like that. It's great. It's yeah. um, we do need to change the industry. We really do. Um, so we said about your collaboration with EasyJet and other airlines. So for for anybody interested um in what fan, uh, fancy wings has to offer how do they start what's the typical process from initial registering your interest so you would register your interest or to be honest you just register for the program on the website um and what that entails is the program starts in october each year mm-hmm. um different sessions are delivered by different partners and mm-hmm. different um, aviation professionals whether that be airline pilots air traffic controllers 
airline regulators, um, engineers, um, leaders in aviation, um, flight dispatchers, whatever it is, we have yeah. different sessions delivered by different aviation experts. Um, and then at the end of the program, obviously we give away those scholarships and we celebrate at the annual conference. Yeah. But then our partners, so the way that our partnerships work is we have different partnerships with different organizations. Like um, we've done hangar days um, mm -hmm. and um, operation control center visits with Virgin. Um, we've done um, sessions with British Airways, which mm -hmm. have given young people work experience. Um, and we've also got other experiences planned um, with BA and BA have also sponsored a number of spaces on the program. Perfect. Same with EasyJet, they oh, sponsor right. a number of spaces and we're working through work experience um, and upcoming opportunities with them. So we put these out to our alumni yeah. and our alumni can then put themselves forward for opportunities. And so we do continuous development with them yeah. even when they've finished the program. Oh, that's brilliant. So, and those those positions that are, that you're looking towards with BA and places like that, that's not just pilots, that's operations, everything? All over the business because a lot of young people like want to experience aviation as a whole. Yeah. Some want to become a pilot right away. Yeah, but yeah. others want to go into the aviation industry, learn about the aviation industry, yeah. and, other, and also find ways to fund their pilot training. Absolutely. Which would be in a career that's enjoyable to them. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, obviously, funding pilot training is just horrendously expensive, isn't it? Yeah. Whatever, whatever you do. Uh, I mean, even the PPL now, the typical PPL is spending about 17 grand now in 2023. It's absolutely mad. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, because it's like I've said before, the the minimum 45 hours is rarely what most people take. Yeah. It's it's difficult. But um, but no, so what you're doing is fantastic. It really is. Um, so... For anybody looking to find Fantasy Wings, I know you're on social media everywhere. Where can they find you? You can Google Fantasy Wings and mm -hmm. our website will come up and all social media articles about us. Um, and you can go on our website and get more information. Um, you can look at our partners' websites because some of them have information about us. Yeah. Um, that we're partnered, we've just partnered with the Airline Pilots Club as well. There's more information on there. Um, our social media, our Instagram, Fantasy Wings UK. Um, and to be honest, you can just send us an email to yep. info at fantasywings.co.uk if you want some more information about us and our program. And yeah. that's where you would typically find more information about Fantasy Wings and what it is we're trying to do if you go on the website and you mm -hmm. just, yeah. So you do like the open days to start off with, do you? Is that, is that right? Yeah, is it no, so it's a, um, so you sign up to our program if you go mm -hmm. on our website and you read and you see it's of interest to you yeah. watching our videos on our instagram our highlights videos of the programs that i've run so far mm -hmm. um, and then you will come to the first session in october mm -hmm. um, providing that registration isn't closed yeah um you then sign up the next year and go to our first session in the october mm -hmm. and go through the 10-month program and at the end of the program everyone that's on the program gets a accredited certificate Wow. Okay. Um, so how many full PPLs have you delivered so far? So far? Oh, I'd have to get the actual um, number for you. I don't have that off the top of my head. Don't I worry. know that we've given away over 300 yeah. flying opportunities, including PPLs and trial flights. That's incredible, though. It's really, and you've raised all that money yourselves, haven't you? Yes. It's, it's so fantastic. We, we, we've paid for that ourselves. Yeah, no, that's brilliant. Okay, um, so thank you ever so much for coming on the podcast, Jackson, and sharing with us um, about your journey. And um, we hope to see you again at some point on, on these open days with you. And, and perhaps we can talk again when you get some updates and things. Yes, and and let's see how it progresses, because I think... I think this is going to be big for you. It's going to be really big. Thank it's you going very to be much. Great. No, it's a pleasure having you on. Great being on your podcast. Thank uh, you for thank you. Me. So I hope you enjoyed the podcast. Please like, subscribe and ding the bell for updates. And don't forget to tune in for the next episode. If you like this episode, please like, subscribe and ding the bell to receive notifications of the next episode.